Your focal gauge comes with several wooden inserts. Each side of the insert can be used once, because it will be physically engraved by laser. You can always cut many more from 1 8 inch plywood. Template is provided with your tool. Focal gauge comes with a target hole on top and indicator holes on each side. Red pointer target beam, if you have one, will light up indicator holes when it's correctly positioned. Bottom of the gauge has cutouts that will let you position your gauge securely on knife blades of your laser cutting table. If your laser doesn't have knife blades, you can just use honeycomb or some other flat surface to place it on. First install wooden insert into the gauge, making sure it's all the way in. Lower your laser bed from control panel so you can position gauge under laser head. Move your laser head until beam is near the top of the hole of the gauge. Do not use your laser control panel for rest of the positioning. Instead, use Task tab in RDWorks to precisely position laser head. Here's how to use RDWorks to manually move your laser. Navigate to Task tab. Current position button will read you in show location of your laser head. Offset value will control how far each press of the button takes you. X minus and X plus move head left and right. Y plus and Y minus will move it backwards or forward. Z plus will move bed down, increasing distance from laser head. Z minus will move bed up, decreasing the distance. Once you position red beam to be exactly in the hole, adjust Z height until laser head barely touches top of the plastic gate. Now use a piece of paper to check the height. If you feel head starting to touch paper, stop. If it's holding paper strongly, back off by a very small amount like 0.2 mm. Once head is in position, lift it by half a millimeter, so it does not catch wood insert. Hit origin button on your control panel to set starting position here. Now let's prepare our template in RDWorks. Load provided RLD file. If for some reason your version of RDWorks cannot open this file, you will need to import provided DXF and then change layers as shown in the video. First, let's change laser head origin by going to config menu and clicking on settings. Choose mid right point and close. This will start engraving process from the current correct point in your file at the middle of the red mark. Now let's take a look at our layers. Output on all but green layer should be turned off. Red layer is needed to position laser head correctly before it starts moving. Green is the ruler, lines and numbers that will be engraved. Depending on power of your laser, you should set it to very fast speed and lowest possible power, just so it marks wood without cutting into it. 200 speed with 10% power is a good starting point. Black layer is outline of the insert. Enable it only if you want to cut a new one. And don't forget to turn off output of the other layers if you are cutting. Now load this file into your machine and do a quick frame test. Start engraving process. After it's done, take a close look at the gauge. Numbers and dashes that are thinnest and clearest are your focal distance. 
But don't forget half a millimeter offset we used when we lifted head, laser head during alignment. So just add 0.5 to your focal distance. For example, let's say you have 2.5 inch lens and 16 to 17 show cleanest engraving. Let's pick 16.5 and, and add 0.5. You will get 17 millimeters. This is your focal distance. Go ahead and save it to your machine as offset for the autofocus. You can do this by going to user tab in RDWorks. First load settings from machine by pressing read button. Find and change focus depth setting and change it to your value. Don't want to use autofocus? No problem. Now that you know your focal distance, it's very easy to make a permanent focusing tool by cutting a square shape 17 mm tall out of any material you like, like wood or acrylic. Optional fine tuning. Focal gauge will show you focal distance that's pretty good, but not absolutely perfect. Use this value as starting point and fine-tune your focal distance by raising or lowering your laser head by 0.2 millimeters and engraving some vector text and then compare results. Write down setting that provides cleanest text. For example, if you got a value of 17 millimeters using focus gauge, you might find out that uh, at 16.8 millimeters you got even crispier result. So 16.8mm will be your ideal focal distance. 